It's fucking night. Yo, those lyrics, mate. <laughs> that is like ridiculous. Forsaken by God in my violence, you are. Pounded by evil in the garden. I said, you know, like legit pounded. Ace of my forbidden fruit swallowed the juices. All is for you. It's like, you know, how the snake kind of got Eve to eat um, the forbidden fruit. Like, just kind of twisting that into such like fucking innuendos, man. Holy shit. Oh, it's just my day, mind, whichever one. No, no, just me. You're totally fine, man. Don't worry about it. <laughs> no. I love to just straight blasphemy. You gotta love straight blasphemy sometimes. Straight straight blasphemy is like some of like the best things you can ever experience in music. I don't know. But some for some people I imagine like some parts of music must like get them to think about their religions, but maybe not in like metal, but in some things it might do, you never know. Yeah, but stuff. Let's see. You are the chosen inside you into well. Enter your body, I'll guide you through how like you know how, how we all have our dark sides. That's kinda of what that's speaking towards. Open for evil, your soul is possessed. The mark of my presence I have on your flesh. You are now ready for sin. Open your gates. Invite me in. Like inviting the evil, inviting the dark side, the lust, the aggression, like all of those parts of your soul. Forsaken by God in my violence, you are pounded by evil in the garden of sin. Eat of my forbidden fruit, swallow the juice, all is for you. Like just pure fucking like lust and sexual innuendo as a man, and why the fuck not, I guess. I am your god here in the garden of lust, like, like, it's not even the garden of Eden anymore, now it's the garden of lust. Like, like, how Eve, like, like, greedily and lustfully took the, f the forbidden fruit for herself, is turning into that, I would say. Temptation is, is glowing in the garden of flesh. Promise is broken in the garden of trust. Unfaithful, unclean in my garden of sin. Let's see, once you've entered the garden of sin, explored all its pleasures and secrets within. You can't go back to the life you once knew. The garden of sin is calling for you. Open for sinners to get one last fix. Feeding your hunger with Christ's crucifix. Like, how, like, once you take the apple, once you create that first sin, you can never go back into the garden. You have to go out into the dangers of the world. You have to grow into a more sinful being, into more what humanity is nowadays, where basically lust almost dictates the world, and greed and power and everything dominates. Like, I love the feeding your hunger with Christ's crucifix. It's almost like, like a little... Um, shadow towards all the mega churches in America and all um, the priests and people like that who take advantage of like innocent people. And that stuff. <laughs> 
that temptation is real. We have Atlas all the look of Red Dam that we've done, so there isn't really much else to bring up. Very much about that lustful, simple behaviour. Like, it's not, like, an amazing song, like, instrumentally. Like, the lyrics are awesome. Like, the lyrics are just fun. Like, just plain fun. Everything else is a little bit mid, I would say. Like, it's a very mid kind of song, like, apart from the lyrics. But interesting, nonetheless. I like, I like a bit of blasphemy every now and again. But still, either way, I hope you guys enjoyed regardless. Have a wonderful day. Take it easy.